Aini top short slums dies in Abuja. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to hear this morning. As our headline for this morning says here, that Aini top short slums dies in Abuja. Well, the top official of the Independence uh, National Electoral Commission, INEC, reportedly slumped and died yesterday evening, Monday, August 19th, 2024. The tragic incident, according to emerging report, took place in his hotel room shortly after he attended a meeting at the commission's headquarters. The meeting, preceded over by the INEC chairman, uh, Moshu Yakubu, centered on the upcoming of cycle governorship election in Edo and Ondo states, as well as discussion on seven vacant positions in the national and state assemblies. Well, social media reports quote an unnamed, unnamed reliable INEC source as saying that the victim, a resident electoral commission, REC, is is one of the southwest states. In one of the southwest states, names withheld by News Express had returned to his hotel room in Abuja after the meeting when the tragic incident occurred. The source, according to a report, hinted that the victim was lodged at Bon Otagon Hotel in the Federal Capital Territory for the meeting. The source noted that the REC, who hailed from Ondo State, was in no good spirit throughout the day proceeding before his untimely dismiss. According to one of the reports, it quoted an official of the commission speaking on the condition of Anonymity, as confirming the tragic event, said that the news has already caused significant conf- confusion and distress within the state headquarters. Well, news express yet to get the reaction of Rutimi, re- the reaction of Rutimi Uyekomi, chief press secretary to INEC chairman, as at the time of filing this report. And that is all we have for you concerning this headline today, this morning, which says here that INEC top shot slumps and dies in Abuja. Well, it's a tragic day yesterday for the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Yes, and for every politicians in Nigeria, because one of a very good, they call, it, they call him a top shot, slumps and dies in Abuja yesterday. Serious so yes, Nigeria, the, 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 the whole Nigeria political dynamic is going through mourning right now and if you're not a subscriber to this youtube channel the best thing you can do right now is to tap the subscribe button hit the notification bell leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this particular news in the near future to come well concerning all this they said the top official of the independent national electoral commission which is INEC, recently slumped and died yesterday evening being august 19 2024 like he just slumped and died that is something like you, you, you know, it, it, it's not something that will tell you where you're supposed to die. You, you just die. And it's a very tragic incident, too. According to the emerging report, he took this slumming and dying took place in his hotel room shortly after he attended a meeting at the commission's headquarters. Yeah, the hotel in the in the, in the FCT. Well, the meeting that was preceded over the INEC chairman concerning the upcoming cycle governorship election in Edo and Undo State, Undo, Undo State as well as some discussions on vacant opposition in the National State Assemblies. Like, some other social media reports quote an unnamed reliable INEC source as saying that the victim, the victim is, is one of the Southwest states, had returned to his hotel room in Abuja after the meeting with a tragic incident occurred. And according to reports f- from some people who saw him that day, they said he was not even in a good condition, like he was not in a good mood that particular day, then he just slumped and died. Wow, like seriously, this is very, very shocking. Like people are seeing a lot of things on comic on social media. It, this is shocking. Like, seriously, it is very, very shocking. Nobody could 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 predict something like this. Okay, coming to this um, coming over to the comment section for this today says he under this headline today says he that David Akuru said that Nigeria. My message last two weeks, quoting from Exodus fourteen fourteen and Romans twelve nineteen, should be your daily devotional guide. Good, but that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Frederick Uonu Awiki said that Yakubu and his family will die the same way plus others who believe in this Nigerian electoral corruption. Wow. That's the same thing I was, I, I was saying. I know that some Nigerians will still... I, I mean, some Nigerians will love the way this man died because of the few that they were cheated by the INEC in the 2023 election. Yes. Now, some Nigerians will be like, thank God they have died. 
thank god, thank, thank god they have died since you guys cost us this pain in the 2023 election this and that this and that you, you, we all know what Eric did in the 2023 election okay going further into the comment section tiamaku says that the judgment is around the corner so <laughs> what uh, to do whatever you like wow so you think that God is already judging the annex, the, uh, the annex, um officials one by one. Well, it is funny, but it is a little bit true, according to the people who wrote this on the comment section. Okay, AJ Hugo says that I'm not happy when somebody dies, but the level of atrocities committed by these annex officials is something else. I would be happy to hear a breaking news that the head of the annex, Professor Mushu Diakubu, has followed suits of the hunger and suffering he brought to the online Nigerians. God of vengeance, continue visiting all of them with a timely death for bringing this shame, th this shame to innocent people of Nigeria. <laughs> wow, this person, me too. I'm, I'm, this, this person says something that really got my attention. He says that uh, he's, he's not happy when somebody dies. Same as me, I'm not happy when somebody dies. When it comes to this INEC, the thing they've done for the, the bad things they've done for this country. Although I don't have any problem with this man who just recently died, the main problem is with this uh, Professor Yakub Moshu Yakubu. Yes, who, who sold Nigeria? Yeah, if he was the one that died, I know that all, all my people will be storming the comment section. Thank God, this and that, this and that. God is taking vengeance, this and that, this and that. Okay, Franka says that why not Yakubu um, Mamudu? Mamudu will not slump and die, but he will run mad and die. Ah. People just hate this man. Like I said, people will still say a lot of things saying that this man should die, this man should die because of his one of his colleagues just recently died. But the the main matured thing we can say just we just pray that he rest in peace. A RIP should rest in peace. And he should see a better place in God's blossom. But what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Then tap the subscribe button as a big red one with the notification bell. So that anytime I open a new video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day ahead of you.